everybody welcome back I thought I'd do a little bit of a garden tour because I think today's the day that I'm gonna start pulling up plants I've got a lot of peppers left to plant or to plant no to pick to pick peppers to pick we were just at my parents and I cut my dad's hair and I brought the hair home yeah to put in my compost hair is good for compost my dad used to go to beauty shops in the area they would save hair for him I know that sounds gross he would go daily and pick up bags of hair and put it in his compost until the health department found out he was doing that and they told the beauty shops they can't save their hair anymore bummer I'm trying I'm trying to put this grate back on while I'm talking to you and I'm not doing a very good job there we need to turn that over it's about time so I'm gonna go in here and pick some peppers but I'll show you what we have so far now I know we have a weedy mess I need to get in here and weed because in between the tomatoes I planted rows of beets so I'm gonna go in there today and take care of all this it's a nice day it's Sunday look at my flowers how pretty they are now I'm gonna leave those because those sure are pretty down here is a row of green beans I already picked the most of them and canned those but there's a few coming on there that I'm leaving for like one night for dinner but our peppers I wanted them to turn red so I've got some red bells the tomato just fell off over there Hungarian hot wax it, it's almost time to just pick all those off Look at how pretty that is over there. That is pretty. That's what I've been waiting for. Rob's over here with this load of wood that we just got from my parents. He just cut down a tree they had. Weeping Jerry. Cat's always with us. Cats are always with us. Yeah, my little buddy. He's on my videos. He really is. Every video Rob does, you will see that cat because that cat and Rob are like inseparable. Huh. Yeah, right, buddy. <laughs> But he's putting all this wood into that. Most of it. He's going to try to burn it up today. The small stuff I'm going to try to burn up. The small stuff. The bigger stuff I'm going to hold on to and try to cure or season. Yeah. It's a weeping cherry, so I don't know what kind of flavor it'll have. It ought to be wise. good. It might be good. We can ask the Google. Because weeping cherry doesn't really produce cherries. No. It's just, it was a really pretty tree. Very pretty. I did film that, and the tree, when my Rob cut it over, actually, because it was kind of a big tree, came really close to my mother. Rob says, <laughs> Rob keeps saying, I was watching, I was watching. Well, my mom jumped. So I'll, uh, I'll leave a link to that somewhere, and like at the end, if you want to see my mom almost get whacked by a tree. My loofah. Look at, look at my loofah. Look at, look at this. Oh, I'm zoomed. I'm sorry. Wondered why we were so close to my loofah. But look, look how long it is. This one over here is touching the ground. And really, I'm not real sure what I'm going to do with this. I, I really don't want it to hit the ground. Because that, I think that spot will die anything that touches the ground I think cat is following me now well hi buddy but look at the loofah look at it all isn't it beautiful we still have loofah coming out I mean look at this this is growing still there's a well, maybe we'll eat that one my parents haven't tried the loofah yet maybe we'll get them to try the loofah it's not a bad taste if a zucchini and a cucumber got married and had a baby it would be a loofah it really isn't a bad taste. Now, I wouldn't want to eat them when they're huge. This is about the size you want to eat them. Look, I got another one starting here. And there's another one doing something up here. So, yeah, the loofah is still producing loofah. Now, this in the summer was squishy. I don't know. If you go back and watch when I ate the loofah, it was squishy like a sponge. Now, it's hard 
It, this could I could probably hit a baseball with this right now. It's pretty hard. What I'm gonna do with this is just leave it leave it on the vine as long as I can, let it die, let it turn brown, and then take it off. And then we'll we'll whack the loofah open and, and get all get the sponge out. That should be fun. Wait for that video of Michelle whacking the loofah. Maybe I'll get my chicken hammer out and whack whack the loofah with that. Uh, oh, there's another little one. There's another little one right there. And, oh, my land. Look at. They're in the leaves. It's like you pick more leaves up. And there, there's another one. I can't imagine they are going to grow anymore. Because our growing season is, like, over. Almost, you know, it's it's over. But the peppers. we have, This whole thing is full of peppers now. And weeds. Of course the weeds. But look at this. It's time to come out and pick peppers again. But I'm kind of waiting because that one's still kind of green. I want them when they're yellow or red. See, there's some of them are turning red. But I have to pick them because when they turn red, that then they start to get mushy. So I got to make sure as soon as they start turning red, get them off of there. All right, right now I'm going to go clean out the tomato garden. Rob just said, here we go, wait for the whoosh. Got the fire going. Fire going. I should have filmed the whoosh because it was a big, huge whoosh. Can we make it whoosh again? Another whoosh. There we go. I should have got steaks out so we could. Well, I don't know. If, I don't know if steaks would have been good on that. Probably. Another whoosh. Another whoosh. No, not on the whoosh. Not on the whoosh. Steaks wouldn't be good on the whoosh. All right. Well, back to what I'm doing here. I've got some of the bigger green tomatoes I am saving but you see those little tiny ones over there those taste like nothing I don't know what they are I have no idea but they have no they're not sweet they're not they don't taste like they taste like nothing they have no flavor it's weird but okay back to picking I weeded the beets as best as I'm going to but look, I could probably hoe in there, but who wants to do that? Not this girl. Look at there. I found the beets. And the peppers. I might leave those just to, I don't know. I might pull them out. But look at this. Here's a Hungarian hot wax. Look at, I mean, these are really big on all of them. There was one in the other garden that I couldn't pull out. I mean, it's it's like a tree trunk in there. But the peppers are doing so good. I'm going to pick most of them today. In fact, I did get some green peppers. I'll show you this. I got my bag here with all these green peppers. There's a bad spot on that one, but who cares. This is probably the fifth time I've picked bell peppers. But I've opened up this garden. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in here and pick. Because I it's about time to do that. The smaller ones I'll leave. But for the most part I'm going to pick them all. There's so many. There's so many peppers. I, I can't believe it. We're just cutting them in rings. And freezing them. And we're just going to use them as we need them. Because you cannot can hot peppers in oil. Because it will go rancid. You cannot can oil. Look at me. I've been, I got whacked in the head with a tomato cage. That hurt. Yeah, that, that hurt. But, all right, back to uh, picking. All right, I picked a lot of them. I'll show you. I got a basket full of pepper. Look how pretty this one. This one is beautiful. Look at that pretty red pepper. But I picked a lot of them. But there's still a lot of them on there. So I'm just going to leave them and watch the weather. And if I know there's a frost coming or it's going to get really cold at night, I'll come pick the rest of these. I don't want to lose any peppers. But we do, we have a lot in the freezer too. We probably have eight gallon bag full of rings in the freezer I th or more. There, there's a lot in there. We have a garden issue. We had tomatoes this year that had septoria leaf spot. So we know that there's a fungus in that garden and we're kind of wondering what to plant. So Rob just Googled it. What? Ask Google. Yeah, we asked, he asked Google what we can put in there to 
like get rid of it or help I, I help well what what we've done and I, I don't really understand how we got it I kind of think it's because we're, we watered it wrong we watered it in the evening we've got a raised bed which is supposed to help prevent things like this um, we got a brand new soil so it's not a problem of having you know something in the soil brand new compost everything was this year everything this year were brand new so we shouldn't have really had much of a problem at all but I think we've with us watering it incorrectly and leaving the leaves wet it, be, it became an They're, issue the leaves are wet overnight we watered in the evening yes. instead of like watering in the morning and Which then letting the sun dry on. yeah we quit watering in the evening but well, I, I asked Google what what we could do about it and basically it said um, two things you want to do is basically watch how you water them yeah don't water the leaves don't leave them wet for a very, very long period of time also next year when we plant tomatoes next year play them a different spot they yeah, also we're say that. that airflow and humidity have a big play a big part in it so he just asked google what we could plant and they came up with mustard seeds so mustard i seeds think and rape seeds i've never heard of those yeah i think we're gonna get those and plant those because now's the time to plant yes. them we might be just might a, be a week or late, a week or so late that's okay we'll but start. we're gonna plant some mustard seed in there and then let it do its whatever it does i don't know what it they does recommend a, they might recommend using a green mulch which is mustard is a green mulch uh, will, will yeah. become a green mulch so so we're going to try putting must putting mustard seed in there to see if that will solve the problem and we're not going to plant the tomatoes in there right so i don't know we're going to try new spot. we're new gardeners here and we're just trying all right you ready to go yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am we are ready to go we're going to go eat some dinner yep so we will see you in our next video all right bye bye mm -hmm.